Hey guys, and welcome to the video. As you may already know, Sony pushed out a new update to the PS3. This one is 4.86. So here today, I'm going to tell you what's available, hopefully give you some info that will help to get you back online. We're also going to clear up some stuff. I'm going to go over some of the facts and clear up some of the BS and tell you what you can and definitely should not do in order to try and get back online. Line. We're going to cover CFW Kex Dex and Hen as well, and I'll let you know what is out there that you can use. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start off with those who are on Hen. If you are on Hen and you're on 485 Hen, Junie just dropped 486.1 HFW. The link is right here. It hasn't been posted yet as of right this minute over at uh, ps3exploit.com, but I'm sure we'll see it there shortly. Also, keep in mind that when it comes to things like this, especially on the PS3, uh, things change very quickly. So the information you're seeing in this video may very well change within a matter of minutes or hours or a day or two. Now, Juni also said that there's been no change to the kernel at all. So you should be seeing a PS3 hen update anytime soon. Anytime soon literally means anytime soon within a matter of hours or maybe a day or two. And then 486 hen will come out. But this 486 HFW is designed to work with 485 hen. Make sure you install it two times. After you've installed it twice, you will need to reinstall 485 hen. However method you use to do it, because there's multiple ways to do it. Even on my channel, I did an alternative 485 uh, method of installing hen. So you can use that method as well. Once you've installed 485 all over again, then you should be able to get back online. If you don't need to get back online for anything, you can continue staying on 485 and using hen or custom firmware how you know however you normally do this is only for people who need to get back online who are on hen all right now for those of you who are on custom firmware kex so you have kex maybe you have custom firmware 485 installed but you're not able to get back online developer evil nat just posted send enabler 6.2.5 which will spoof to 486. Again, this is just for people who have full custom firmware installed and you want to spoof to get back online. So the way you would do this is you would it's install the send enabler like any other package, okay? And then you would just launch it. Let's go ahead and do that here real quick. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do in case you already have send enabler installed because you'll need to update it. Okay, so if you are not using Send Enabler, if you don't already have Send Enabler uh, spoofing or running, when you come here, you will see Enable Send Access. You'll select that, you'll hit OK a couple of times, you'll be prompted to reboot after it's done, reboot it, and then when you go and look at your uh, firmware, over at the XMB in the settings or the system information, it should show 486. If you already have Send Enabler installed and you're already spoofing, make sure you turn this one off. When you come here, instead of saying enabled, it'll say disable. Disable it, hit OK a couple of times, reboot. Then once you reboot, go into your system information, make sure you're back on your original older firmware, then delete the older version of Send Enabler from your XMB, install the newer version, come back here and just do what I just said. Go into Enable Send Access, uh, hit OK a couple of times, reboot, and then you should be spoofed to 486. So that's the only thing that people who are on custom firmware techs need to do in order to get back online. And last but definitely not least, next up, what about those of you who are on DEX? If you are on DEX 482 or higher, you do absolutely nothing because you are still immune to this update and you can sign in. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. I am on DEX, you can tell because the little display deal here. Let me go over to... Um, 
my system settings. Let me go system information. Okay, you can see I'm on 482. Let's go ahead and uh, let's clear out my history and Cisco's files. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I forgot what button combo I had to use there for a second. All right, so that's been cleared out. Let's go to sign in. And there we go. I am signed in. So if you're on DEX 482 or higher, there's absolutely no need to do anything. Don't need to use Send Enabler or anything else. You can still log in. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap up today with just a general warning. Stay away from all of the shady stuff that's out there. I've already seen YouTube channels posting up that they have 486 custom firmware, they have 486 hen, and it's just a bunch of BS, it's clickbait. It could be something that you install and could ruin your system. Just stay away from that. Stick to places that are pretty honest and legit about posting authentic stuff, such as psxhacks.com, psxplace.com, and of course here on this channel, as well. There's also some other methods people have posted. For example, using a text file in Webman, you can change that text file and get back online even with Hen. And it is true, you can, but I'm not going to go over that because some people have already posted that they were banned virtually instantly, like within a matter of minutes when they use that method. There's also the proxy method, which would work as well. And that one is definitely safer, but it's a little bit more complex. And honestly, there's no point in doing either one of those things or anything that's more complicated or running the risk of ruining your system because the methods that we covered here pretty much covers everybody, whether you're on HEN485, Kex Custom Firmware, and DEX. So stick to these methods that we covered in the video until more stuff comes out and gets updated. So you know I appreciate you watching, guys. That will do it for today. If anything here you found to be useful, helpful, informative, if you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. I'll keep you guys updated. In the meantime, much love going out to everyone. Be super safe, guys. Be careful, but make sure you have fun and we will see you on the next one.